What's up guys? I'm going to be bringing a couple of random uh, like videos here. I'm trying to figure out why my video quality has been like diminishing lately. So I'm just going to have a couple little random little videos here so I can figure out what's going on. But I uh, guess I'll just show you here again. Um, the sump is still running very well. Um, I finished plumbing these lines here. See there, so they're permanently in. I, kinda, I made my own bulkheads there. It saved me about five bucks. Um, opposed to buying like actual aquarium bulkheads, I just got some PVC stuff, so saved me about five bucks. So I'm happy with that. <laughs> um, I got some more corals up in the tank. Let's see if we can't get a better shot of them this time. Let's raise it up here. I got the blue lights turned down. Let me shut my front door. Windy today. All right. So here we've got that hammer. And here is my Duncan colony. And over here I got my purple Yuma, which has got about four babies on it. I don't know if you can see around that back side there. And then on the other side, and then underneath the bell, here on the bottom and over the top, there's another one of the baby sprouting off. Here is the GSP. I'm doing fine. I got my Cyneria. I forget how to pronounce that, but that's in here. And this thing, I can tell, it is really happy to be on the sand bed again. Can't wait to start bringing you guys some feeding videos of that <laughs> again. So that's in there, and then here's the orange and green fungia plates doing good doing good dragon's breath ended up getting sucked into the return pump so it's kind of all over the place right now and then the one coral that I forgot in the last video was the Tyree toadstool Oops, here we go. and here it is it's a little beat up here on this part of the rim or the crown uh, because in the holding system it was right next to the bubble coral which the bubble coral I'm going to be putting in here tonight so yeah and there's the diamond goby feeling not so camera shy today one of my favorite fish by far I think it's I don't know why but <laughs> it is it's one of my favorite fish I just love its attitude its personality the way it scoops the sand is, I mean, it's like a living ex excavator. Let's see if we can't get a dove or another angle on it here. Oh, of course, it turns the other way. <laughs> and there's the chromosis is. <laughs> chromosis is. Whoops. Brain fart. Um, still got a little bit of uh, diatoms here on the rocks. Um, it kind of comes and goes. It'll be here and then it'll disappear and then it'll come back some. So I don't know. It is what it is. Whatever. Water quality tests come out just fine. We'll be doing a water change probably tomorrow on the tank and then start adding some more corals. But I'm I'm really excited to be back at this level again, guys. Um, Ever since breaking down the 220, it's just been these little holding systems, and it's been kind of sad. Um, I'm used to having a giant reef and having to dose everything. I got my dosing pumps hooked up again, so that's exciting. So, yeah, I'm, I'm real happy to be back at this level again, guys. And can't wait to get all my SPS in this tank and just watch it thrive. It's starting to really uh, get at me. I really just want this set up now, but... I know I gotta take my time, so that's what we're doing. So, anyways, just a little update, guys, and I'm gonna hopefully figure out this video quality issue right now. Um, wow, that's bright. There we go. There we go. So, all right, guys, thank you for watching. And uh, we will see you in the next update, hopefully when we got a lot of coral in the tank. All right, peace.